Fortnite has made a big announcement with Disney. At the same time, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles has taken over the island once again, with new mythics, the hoverboard, skins, the mini pass, here is everything you need to know. While roaming the island, you'll find custom turtle supply drops, and once open, you'll get one of four new mythics. There's an item for each turtle in the group, like Donatello's staff, where he does kung fu moves. Raphael's Sai has a cool dash attack, and you can slice people up, it's pretty great. Then, Michelangelo's nunchucks will annihilate anyone in your path. I don't want to get in the way of this guy. Same goes for Leonardo Leonardo, who has brought his katanas to the fight, and man, all of these are pretty solid mythics. You'll also find them in vending machines and even regular chests if you're lucky enough. Now, we weren't expecting a new vehicle today, but Fortnite has pulled it off with the return of the Driftboard. It's themed around the Ninja Turtles, yet it works the exact same way. The only difference is they added charge to it, so you can't drift around forever. It kinda sucks, but hey, at least trick shot snipes are back in the game. The same goes for Pizza Party. You can't have the Ninja Turtles without entire boxes of pizza. They're back, and you're most likely to find them on the floor, but for a guaranteed one, open a supply drop. Now let's go deeper into the latest map change. Head to the underground HQ and you'll find a new POI that is perfect for the turtles. This is their secret lair where they hang out between missions. You'll find pizza, graffiti, and music. The ideal place for a party with your friends. Well, if only you could drink the toxic waste or something. Actually, on second thought, don't drink toxic waste. Stick to the slurp juice. Otherwise, you'll probably become a mutant like Splinter. Everyone's favorite rat is now in Fortnite and he looks incredible. You can grab him in the item shop right now and there's even a Lego variant which is adorable. I mean, look at him dance. He also comes with a back fling that includes his glasses and a teapot because of course he does. You don't need to buy the outfit just to find him. Splinter is on the map right now. Head to the turtle's lair and he's waiting to give you wise advice. You can always rely on Splinter and that's why he sells pizza parties for those in need. The best part, if you're dressed as a Ninja Turtle, you get unique dialogue. He even has a line for April O'Neil. We wouldn't need the Ninja Turtles if there was no villain to defeat and Super Shredder is here to tear things up. There's an entire battle pass dedicated to this collab with 11 free tiers and 11 paid ones. Without spending a single dollar, you could get four emotes, a glider, and a bass guitar. But if you do shell out the V-Bucks, you'll earn Shredder's entire set, and let me tell you, that outfit is intimidating. But he does look a little cuter as a Lego figure. There's also a secret cosmetic that no one's talking about. If you complete all seven quests, you'll unlock the Super Shredder guitar, and it looks awesome. And if you manage to get the Streets Ignite music back, that also works as a song in Fortnite Festival. The only mode this collab hasn't touched is Rocket Race. Once you earn those emotes I talked about, you'll learn they all have references to the show. Leo's ninja stance has metal head cut up on the floor, Donnie has the Foot Clan banner on a sewer pipe, Mikey has stood on a mouser's head, and Raphael has the most obvious secret of all, Shredder's helmet. All this detail for free cosmetics is insane. And if you thought turtles were a huge deal, the biggest crossover in Fortnite history just got announced. Epic Games have sold 10% of the company to Disney. Yeah, Mickey Mouse now is a huge chunk of Fortnite, and they're using it to create a new entertainment universe universe. You know how Lego put their own game in Fortnite? Well, it seems like Disney will do the same thing. In the announcement trailer, they confirmed that Avatar and Pixar will be involved, confirming future crossovers that could drop at any moment. One of the strangest secrets from the update involves a telescope. At Ruin Reels, this has appeared and it looks pretty normal, like who would even notice this was here? Well, that's until you look at the nearby chair and find an open book. Reading the pages, you'll see a butterfly, a strange orb, and finally, Pandora's box. This is a story from Greek mythology teasing season to his ancient Greece theme. But if you're searching for a mod bench, I can guarantee there is one item you haven't tried to upgrade. Turns out people were trying to mod chickens at the stations, so Epic decided to add a brand new Easter egg. If you go back to any mod bench with a chicken after the update, it now has a unique message saying the chicken is tragically not moddable. It's even marked as bird rarity and that he's just a little guy. Unfortunately, you can't morph him into some sort of superhero, but I can't say the same about this insane collab rumor. The crew at Xbox Era podcast have teased a leak about an upcoming crossover none other than the Power Rangers. Leakers are speculative for now, but these are the same guys that told us about Transformers and TMNT years before they released. One leak we could count on arriving sooner is a brand new survey skin. The codename Ballet Assassin was found in the files and people have already matched it up to this concept. She should be dropping in one of the next updates, so if she's on your wish list, to save up your V-Bucks. But if you're in need of a supercar, then get ready for the McLaren. It's officially the third collab car in the game and players are thanking Epic for lowering the price. This time around, it only costs 2,800 V-Bucks, unlike the Lamborghini, which left our wallets empty. It comes with 
its own wheels and decals, so you can fully customize it yourself. Now you own the McLaren, you might as well look even cooler with Custom Boost now available. You'll find this new tab in your locker forum, and check the store right now to purchase Ethereal and Star Trek. They are only 250 V-Bucks each, which is a steal. Don't forget to use code T5G, especially when you pick up the latest quest pack, and it's the return of a beloved character. Lynx is back, and this time she's dressed for winter and ready to climb a mountain? This is Trailblazer Lynx, and players love it. With this pack, you'll get level up quests along with a free Lego style pickaxe. I mean, what's not to love here? Actually, there's plenty to be angry about. Fortnite just added bundles for all of these sets, which released over the past month without any bundles. You see what I'm getting at here? There's now a discount on these outfits, which you couldn't previously access, causing players to accuse Fortnite of robbing them in broad daylight. Imagine spending 6,000 V-Bucks on TMNT instruments, only for Epic to drop a bundle a couple weeks later. Yikes. But with another update comes another batch of Lego skins, and this time Epic went crazy. With Lego versions of Black Widow, superhero skins, football skins, even human build. He's looking incredible. And speaking of Lego, there was a massive update to the survival mode this week. There's a new weapon to enjoy, the Hunting Dagger. It's just like the normal sword, but this time if you attack enemies from behind, you'll deal bonus damage. You can craft this at level 1 by adding a bone in your inventory, and as you move up, it gets harder to upgrade. Like an epic Hunting Dagger requires cut sapphire, but sheesh. I'm sure the Lego update is kinda underwhelming, but don't worry because they're already teasing the next one. At the end of the patch notes, epic teased that 28.30 will reel in a lot of fun, so it sounds like fish is coming. The water will finally be useful and a brand new source of food and loot, and maybe we'll even get boats, but one way to find out. It also looks like we'll be fishing in Battle Royale because the entire glacier is melting. Each week, the ice wall slid further and further away, pulling the plane wreck from the top of the mountain to the bottom. No one knows what's behind the ice, but it looks like whatever it is will take us straight into season two. Before they release it, they should probably check on bites. It seems like during downtime, he got into a fight or something, because he's basically been punched in the face and broken everything. His jaw is completely dislocated, his eyes are all over the place, I mean, poor guy doesn't even know what's going on. Can someone drive him to the hospital or something? Not the only skin to get secretly changed in the update, because Epic have also unlocked Maya. She has been locked into the styles he chose back in Chapter 2 for nearly four years now, but it looks like Epic has finally given us a chance to edit it, or so it seems. You can only choose between default and the style you pick, but it's still better than nothing, right? Well, it turns out it doesn't even save. The same happened to the Brella, leaving us asking, is this a bug or is Epic finally unlocking them? They're also adding a brand new consumable across the map without anyone knowing. We've been using Flowberries all season, but now they're in barrels too. They're currently broken and look like normal slurp kegs, but instead give you 15 shield and low gravity. So if you find a random barrel on the map, chances are it could be more helpful than you would think. And for Fortnite Festival fans, get ready for a brand new update. It's not often this mode gets some love, but if you hop into the jam stage to rock out, there's a brand new update for Valentine's Day. They've added a whole garden, statues, and even a screen, so maybe we'll get more when the 14th comes around. But something you can pick up right now is some free outfit styles. If you already own Snowfoot or Kalia, you'll get a brand new camo and gold variant for them for no extra cost. And thank you, Epic Games. That's everything new in Fortnite it's TMNT update. Like I said, if you want to support us when buying these cosmetics, pop in code T5G. It would be very much appreciated, and thank you to everyone who does it. It's been Tommy, and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.